a typhoon, a hurricane, and an early spring weather pattern. We've got quite a lot to cover in today's weather video. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Clearly, the typhoon and the hurricane aren't anywhere near New Zealand, but they are on a global scale quite significant storms. So we're going to talk about them briefly in a moment. But first of all, let's kick off with our animated wind map, and it shows this cooler southwest flow spreading up across the country. For late August in New Zealand, this is not too bad. I mean, we really can see some pretty bad storms at this time of the year out of the Southern Ocean area. This one's not too bad. When you track the origins of the wind, some of it that airflow is coming out of the central part of Australia. So that's why, even though it's a local southwester, it's not too bad. We've got a surge of colder air coming in on Thursday. We'll talk about that in a moment. But let's quickly go into the northern hemisphere. Hurricane Laura is the next storm to keep a close eye on. Now this is heading into the Gulf of Mexico right now. It's in the perfect breeding grounds, right in the middle of it, away from land and over very warm waters. So this is likely to become a severe hurricane. This is a serious storm coming in for the southern states, anywhere from Texas, Louisiana, around to Mississippi, and anywhere sort of going up the Mississippi River. This is going to be a serious storm over the next few days. And then we head to the Pacific Ocean and way up actually beyond it uh, to the Korean Peninsula where we're looking at Typhoon Barvi. Now this is coming in today as a major storm as well. In fact, over the next couple of days, parts of China, Korea and Japan Japan, all in the risk zone for that typhoon. And by the way, look at the airflow. This is the equator down here. Look at it sucking up all that moisture, all that tropical warmth and heat and pushing it into all these areas. So this is really quite a serious storm. So we'll be keeping an eye on those two systems over the next couple of days. Let's take a look now back at New Zealand. Here is your Thursday forecast and nothing tropical going on in New Zealand. It's colder as we get another surge here of cold weather moving through. Another southerly in the South Island. Now there will be a few isolated hail showers spreading up both islands as we go through Thursday and probably a couple of thunderstorms. They're not likely to be very widespread, but uh, with these little showers coming in and, and the colder change behind it, it is the right recipe to produce an isolated thunderstorm or two. But on Friday, the winds start to warm back up again. So while Wednesday, Thursday are the cool days this week, Temperatures are already pushing up above average in some areas on Friday because the west to northwest winds, they come back ahead of the next spring-like cold front. So Friday's not too bad. The showers ease in the North Island, although they'll still be around, but they won't be as bad as they were around Thursday. And then as we head into the weekend, in comes the showery weather. So you'll notice a burst of wet weather once again. See the blue line there? That indicates another surge of colder air coming out of the Southern Ocean and moving in and dropping our temperatures. We'll see um, maybe a couple of isolated hail showers again in that. But look, there are two really big highs on either side. So this system is going to get squashed on Sunday as it drifts away from us. And in fact, Sunday, doesn't look too bad. We might be seeing some fairly dry, sunny weather around the country, although it's still a little bit windy for us with the squash zone of high pressure just there and a deep low just to the south. And our final map for Monday, again, classic spring weather pattern where it's sort of mild nor'westers in the North Island and another cold front in the south with another southerly surge of wet weather, showers, hail, and maybe some lower level snow flurries. I don't think it'll be too low level, but maybe a couple of hundred meters again and above. So we've got an interesting pattern coming through. It certainly does feel a lot like an early spring has arrived. That is all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with the latest.